Hi there, this is Webzier. In this video, we are going to play with our Hello World application that we discussed in the previous video. I am on my Mac using IntelliJ IDE which we previously installed. In the first step, I am going to go and make the font bigger as it is very hard to see what's written there. The way I can do that is go at the top here to IntelliJ, select Preferences or Settings if you guys are on Windows. Go to the section called Editor here, expand it, go to Colors and Fonts, expand it as well, go to Font and notice that we currently cannot change the values here because we first need to customize what they have. So there's a scheme here that says it is default. We need to save it as our own scheme. So let me call it Waves here, click OK. And now I can change the font size to something like 28 and the line spacing to something like 1.5 which will control the amount of height between each line. Once I do that, just click apply and let's also show the line numbers. I can do that by going to general here, go to appearance under general and notice this option that says show line numbers. Click on this option, once again, click apply, click OK. And if you come back to our code, this time things are much better to look at. So in the first step, I would like to run whatever was already present inside our code, which currently prints hello world. We can simply run the code by going at the top here to the run menu and notice there's an option that says run hello world. Just click on that. And at the bottom here, you should be able to see the text that says hello world. So now let's go and play with our code. I'll just click over here and instead of the hello world, let's try to write my name. Again, remember that it needs to be placed inside the double quotes. So at this point, just save by hitting command S on your Mac or control S on Windows. And all you have to do now is go to the run menu and click run hello world. And this time, you will notice at the bottom, it says I am Vibs. So feel free to type whatever you want inside this. Now let's try something else. Let's remove this complete part and I'm going to simply write 65 minus 76. Let's see what happens when we do that. Go to run at the top, click run hello world and notice that it displays the answer that is minus 11 over here. So the system.out.println method as you call it, is capable of displaying strings, numbers, and other types of stuff. For example, you could have 65.45 minus 76 here. And if you click run at the top and run the application, it will show you minus 10 point whatever the answer is at the bottom. So now I have reverted back to the hello world text. Let's try to duplicate this sentence once more by copying it and pasting it and see what happens. Go to the run menu at the top, click run hello world and you will see the hello world text being displayed twice at the bottom. So if I remove world from the first sentence and if I remove hello from the second sentence, that will be hello world on two separate lines. Let's try to run that by seeing the same run option at the top and notice that we have hello and world being displayed separately. Now what if I want to have them on the same line? In that case, Instead of using the print ln method, I could use the print method for the first scenario. Now ln simply means print the text and after the text put a new line. But if I say print here, it just puts the word without adding a new line at the end. Let me run this and show you. Click run hello world at the top and notice now that we have hello and world following it. And also notice that there is no space between hello and world. So there are two ways I can add a space. I can either add a space to the first word at the end or I can add a space to the second word at the beginning. And you will see the same result when you click run hello world. And this time we have hello world being displayed properly. The first word being hello, the second word being the word with space in the front. Now let's talk about the final aspect in this video and that is shortcuts. Currently, you have to type system.out.println which can be quite frustrating for a beginner. But there is a shortcut 
in IntelliJ. Let me show you how you can go to IntelliJ and if you're on Windows just go to settings and if you're on the Mac go to preferences and under preferences go to editor and once you're on the editor menu check out the live templates section. Now in particular the one that says output over here there are many live templates in IntelliJ and let me show you what they do. For example S out would have your system dot out dot print ln on the screen. So let me show you how to use this click OK here and we go back to our code. Now notice very carefully I just write S out and I hit return or enter on my keyboard and the system dot out dot print ln statement is generated. Now let me write something here and you can see how I'm going to change the console font. I'll just select run at the top in the menu saying run hello world. And notice that hello appears at the bottom. Now I would like to increase the font size. Again, I go to IntelliJ IDEA. If you're on Windows, go to settings. If you're on the Mac, go to preferences. And right under the editor section, under colors and fonts, there is a section here that is called console font. Select that. And notice that we have the scheme as we've selected at the top. Now I'll change the font size here to 18 and increase the line spacing to 1.4 and click apply. Click OK and now we should be able to see the console with a much bigger font than what we had previously. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.